Hi, I'm Lara from Little Elf Family Services at little-elf.org. And today I want to talk a little bit about hellos and goodbyes. I was doing a coaching session with a family this afternoon and we were talking about separation anxiety. With kids and with our partners, it's just so important to really be intentional about the routines that we set up and to express physical affection when we say hello and goodbye to the people that we love. But so often we get busy and we're focused on where we're going next and we just stop. For example, so often even in the street, I'll see people saying hello or goodbye and I pay attention now. Do they give a good kiss? Dr. Gottman at the Gottman Institute talks about the idea of a six second kiss. One, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, that has potential to be a really great kiss. And yet so often we're just busy. Or maybe we feel embarrassed because there's a friend with us who's single we don't want them to feel bad. And yet, physical affection, especially at hellos and goodbyes, is one way that we really let our loved ones know that we care and that they're important to us. And the same is true for our kids. It's so easy when we're, we're dealing with separation anxiety and either the child is busy in what they're doing, so we don't want to interrupt them, or they're busy and they're excited to get to their play and we don't want to interrupt that either. But really a huge part of early parenting is teaching our child that they can trust us and that they're important to us. So as much as we can think about being intentional about making sure that we give those really big hugs for hellos and goodbyes, one way that we can do that is a little book called The Kissing Hand by Audrey Penn. And just, I'm gonna read it real fast. Chester Raccoon was very sad. He looked at his mommy and cried. I don't wanna go to school, he said. I want to stay home by your side. I'll read my books and play with my friends and play with my favorite toys. Please may I stay home with you? I won't make very much noise. Mrs. Raccoon squeezed Chester's hand and nuzzled him on his ear. You're going to love Owl's school, she said. I promise there's nothing to fear. And I have a wonderful secret to share that will make your, that will make your nights away seem as warm and cozy as your days at home where we sleep, read books, and play. Mrs. Raccoon opened Chester's wide hand and kissed the center of his palm. Chester's eyes popped and his magic black mask tingled as the kissing hand raced up his arm. Chester could feel his mother's kiss leap straight into his heart. With a kissing hand, said Chester's mom, will never be apart. Just press your hand on your cheek and feel that loving glow. It's mommy saying, I love you wherever you may go. I think David Kaiser also has a song called A Kiss in Your Pocket. And definitely I wanna point out that this is not just for mommies. It always kind of bothers me in books when we only have mommy in the picture and not daddy too. Um, although in some families, of course, that's appropriate. But a ritual such as a kissing hand is a great way to communicate to your child that they're important and that you can, they can trust you that you will come back for them, which is isn't that what it's all about? So thanks for listening today. And I just look forward to hearing the ways that you use this in your lives.
Even something as simple as going into the airport the next time a family member arrives so that you can give them a really warm greeting instead of just a quick rush from the cell phone lot. Thanks so much for listening. I'll see you at littleelf.org and let me know in the comments if you'd have any ideas for next time.